Hey, what's going on everybody? Jason here, uh, bringing you a quick update on my uh, 46 gallon bow front. Uh, just got off work a little while ago. There's no kids, no wife here, so I, I got maybe about half an hour to do this video. Um, I had a little ick outbreak in my tank. Um, the only fish that I saw, actually, uh, I did lose one fish to the ick, and that was the really nice blue striped and red dwarf gourami that I bought and the guy at the fish store said they're very very fragile fish because they're overbred and once they get ick there's probably nothing you can do about it I don't know how true that is but the guy the, my local fish store the guys there are pretty smart um, he got riddled with it and would not come back from it I was treating my tank with riddick and um, my I believe my male blue ram came back from it he was riddled with ick I uh, started treating the tank, doing water changes, and the ick went away. However, the blue ram, he seems different. He kind of scoots around on the bottom a little bit more, seems a little bit more twitchy. Maybe that'll go away, who knows, but uh, he doesn't seem to have the ick anymore, and he seems to be swimming around uh, a little bit more normal. However, two cherry barbs died out of nowhere with absolutely no signs of ick. Um, I woke up, one was stuck to the filter intake, and the next day the other one was floating. Um, I still have two cherry barbs left. I, I don't know why they died all of a sudden, who knows. I was testing my water every couple of days, making sure my water parameters were perfect. They still are, my, uh, my plants are growing. So, so three fish have died, uh, one I know from ick. The two cherry barbs, I, I have no idea. They showed no signs of it. Maybe they were old or had an internal parasite that I didn't know about, didn't see. And I've also bought some new fish. Um, once all the dead ones were out of there, and the other and the ick was gone, and the rest of my fish looked happy and healthy, I, I went and got some more fish. And uh, let me show you what's going on. So my filters on top, still doing great. I did that quick video on the modification where the BioWheel 350s are completely full of media. Beams work light, doing great. Not too bright, not too low. Um, there's the filter socks. As you can see, these are pretty nice. They catch a lot of debris. There's a few leaves over there, if you can see. Okay, I zoomed in real quick so you can see there's a couple leaves on there. You can see the difference of the color, the white on top and the green. Sorry, there's a glare right there. So these things are definitely trapping particles and, and it is functioning, functioning as mechanical filter. There's my beautiful female blue ram. She is doing great, beautiful freaking colors. There's, I got two German gold rams right there that she's picking on and being like this. Oh, looks like they're ganging up on her. Yeah, you guys just got in time for a little fight. Woohoo, look at this. Didn't even plan this out. So those are the two new uh, German gold rams right there. I uh, also got two more dwarf garamis, yellow, uh, kind of, they're both picking at the filter floss right there. It's too much glare. There's one. There's the other one. They're both picking at the filter floss. Let's see if we can get out of there. So that's three of them. I have the other big sunburst in here behind that rock right there. Where'd, where'd it go? And I also got two more Neon Tetras to make six, so they got uh, some friends. So I got two uh, Neon Tetras, two German Gold Rams, and two more Yellow Dwarf Garamis. And so uh, that's the, the new fish I bought. I didn't want to overdo it with after the ick outbreak. But right now, all the fish seem to do, be doing really good. Oh, there's the other germ, or not the blue ram. That's the one that does not have ick anymore, as you can see, just kind of scoots around the ground. <laughs> I don't know if that's normal for some rams, but that's kind of what he does now. Where'd he go? There he is. But his colors seem okay, and he's swimming, and the ick is gone, and he's eating. Oh, there's one of the garamis right there. Got two of those yellow guys. gold ram sorry i got a lot of glare in this area um, it's always going to look like this i'll try to clear up the video as much as i can 
But uh, my plants are growing really good too. The Amazon sword, my Anubius, I kept planted, but I left partially unplanted. And these things right here, I forgot the name of them. All the plants have a little bit of algae on top, but these guys, all three of these are growing. All the little grass I got seemed to die back a little bit. But, um... Oh, everything seems to be doing really good. I'm right, trying to get an angle where it's not so glary. Kind of give you a bigger view of the tank. That driftwood I put in looks awesome. It turned like really dark brown with some green algae on it. Right now, everything's going good. Kind of sad. Three fish died. Um... I know one died from the ick, the other two, there's the two cherry barbs back there in the corner. They were swimming around earlier, eating a lot, they're doing good. I don't know why the other two died, but uh, maybe new tank syndrome. Some fish, it just happens to. But that's it, quick update guys. Uh, I hope you like the tank, I hope you like the fish. And I'm debating on whether to get more, there's the red eye red lamp eye tetras I'm thinking about getting I might get like four of those but still debating see there's that there's that uh, ram that had ick right there he just kinda scoots around the ground but his colors look good and he's eating so I don't know what his deal is maybe he's got a permanent disability now but I'm gonna keep him Alright guys, that's the video. Thanks for watching. That's the update. If you have any questions, comments, uh, feel free to leave them below the video. I'll put a link to my aquarium group on Facebook, Aquarium Enthusiasts. Click on the link, go in there, add yourself, I'll approve you. Uh, really good group. we got some good people in there. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy.